Hey guys welcome to my channel. Hope everyone doing great. After quite some time finally I have decided and got the time to record one of my blender progress as a video. Hereafter I'll try to post consistently. And today we are going to create a flower vase in blender. Hope you guys like it. Add a cube and subdivide times 2. And then switch to edit mode. Press A and press M to merge all the vertices at center. Press 3 and switch to orthographic mode. Select the vertex and press E to extrude. Extrude the vertices until you get your desired shape. Now switch to object mode by pressing tab. Open the modifier settings from the side panel and select the screw modifier. This will give our flower vase a shape. Switch to edit mode by pressing tab and there you can adjust the vertices to refine the shape more. You can add more vertices by pressing Ctrl R or select two vertices and subdivide it. Play around with the vertices until you get your desired shape. You can even use an image as a reference to match them correctly. We have completed creating our vase. Next we are going to create flowers to put in them. Let's select and hide our vase by pressing H for now. To start creating the flowers. Add a plane and enter into edit mode. Scale the plane in the X axis. Press Ctrl R and add 3 loop cuts on both sides of the plane. Press O to activate orthographic selection mode. and move around the vertices to create a flower petal-like shape. Again you can use a reference image to match your desired flower. It is a good practice to save your file every few minutes, so that you won't have to worry about your progress in case Blender crashes or your device shut off unexpectedly. This will save you a ton of your precious time. So remember to press Ctrl plus S every once in a while. Once you have created your petals press shift plus D to duplicate them. Make sure to keep your origin point at the bottom tip of the flower so that when you rotate them they will look nicely. A quick tip, while rotating the petals, divide 360 with the number of petals you want, that will give you a number to rotate your petals, in case if want you to move them with more precision. Here I have used 72 degree angle, to rotate my petals, as I am creating 5 petals. Hope that makes sense. Add a cube and subdivide time 3. Enter edit mode and delete the bottom face and scale the rest down. This will be the center piece of our flower. Now duplicate that and rotate it 180 degrees in X axis and scale it. This will be the bottom of the flower. Again we are using the orthographic scaling to create more organic shaped flowers because no flower looks flat.
Here I am using the 3D cursor as the pivot point to scale the pedal so that all of the tip will move inwards towards the cursor. You can move your 3D cursor by pressing Shift plus right click anywhere on the screen. Add a curve path and adjust and scale it to create a stem to the flower. Go to the curve object properties from the side panel. And adjust the depth value under the bevel section. You know we have to press Alt plus S to scale the vertices for curve objects and the reason, I'm still trying to find it. Also remember to apply the scale and rotation for objects by pressing Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Now duplicate the flower a few times and rotate them to fill the vase. Now it is time for materials and lighting. This is the most important part of any 3D project. Add a plane to create a base and background for our scene. I am using the three-point lighting technique to light the scene. This consists of three area lights. From three different direction. That's what it has been written in the manual that I read. You play around the lighting values as per your liking and feel free to use different color lights to your taste. I am merging each flower's petals into one by shift selecting them and joining them by Ctrl plus J. It will be easy to add materials that way. Now for the camera settings I am using orthographic camera because that is easy to cover our scene. Duplicating the flowers once more and scaling them down to show more variations. Did I say 3 point lighting? Let's make it 4. This light will be used to brighten up rear side of our model. I am adding a solidify modifier to give our vase a bit of thickness. Adjust the thickness to your liking and check the even thickness box. A quick tip, reducing the roughness and cranking up the specular values will make the material look like ceramic.
you can see my render settings here in the side panel. I am using just 30 samples as it is enough for me. Please feel free to crank it up if your PC can handle it. Also don't forget to check the high contrast and the color management in the render settings. Now apply all the modifiers so that we can apply some specific materials to our vase. Open Materials panel and add new material under the previous one. Enter the edit mode and select multiple face loops by pressing Shift plus Alt plus left click. Select the new material that we added and press Assign to apply the new materials to the selected sections. Even after this I still felt that something was still awkward about this flower, and found out that they are still flat as hell, so I decided to stretch my fingers and gave it one final go. I switched to the edit mode and adjusted the petals rotation and then duplicated another set of petals, scale it down and set the pivot point to 3D cursor to make it more interesting. I guess. And I linked the object data of this flower with the rest of the flowers by shift selecting all the flowers and the edited one one as the last one and press Ctrl plus L to link object data. And as a final touch I readjusted the flower placement and rotation for the millionth time and tweaked the color of the flower and the center piece. This is what I came up with, hope it's not too flat. Please let me know your feedbacks and suggestions in the comment sections. And excuse me if I made any mistakes, also let me know if anything could be done efficiently or the right way, I'm still a learner. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. See ya until next video. Bye bye.